Alright, so I'm here at RTW 2009. It is June 21st. Um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Giselle Ramirez and I'm from Olympic, Texas. Cool. Uh, what's your ethnicity or racial background? Um, Mexican American. Cool. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's see, today you heard from some queer folks, some staff, um, people about connecting the LGBT movement with um, the civil rights movement. And can you talk about like what that was like for you or what that made you feel or think about? Yeah, definitely. I definitely could relate to what Lauren, what you said. Because <laughs> um, I encounter it on a daily basis and I usually don't see it as a big deal because I tend to conform to it. Like, like say for example, if I can't walk to the grocery store holding my girlfriend's hand or being affectionate because I need to conform, conform to it. I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable. And, like, I don't know, just, like, hearing you talk about it, like, it made me feel like, why should I have to put up with it? Like, that's really injustice. It's just, like, African Americans, like, it wasn't right for them to be segregated. Why? And they fought for equality. Like, why shouldn't I fight for my um, equality? Like. It shouldn't be right that I cannot be totally free and, you know, like I have a girlfriend that I live with and when people ask me, oh, who do you live with? I usually have to say, like, I live with a friend because I feel uncomfortable saying, oh, I have, I'm living with my girlfriend or if someone asks me, so are you, are you seeing someone? I usually have to say I'm single because I don't want to say I have a boyfriend because I'm alive, but I don't want to, like, I guess make them feel uncomfortable, which is going to make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> So, um, yeah, like, it really made me feel, like, more powerful, more conscious about it, to, like, really, like, do something, not be afraid of, like, to show who I am anymore. Cool. Thank you, Jill.